What's up guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I have thought it'd be fun to do a bit of a clean with me routine because today is Saturday and that means that it is cleaning day. Um, so first of all, just gonna backtrack you guys. <clears throat> if you guys follow my Instagram story, so you all know um, that not too long ago, I did a bit of a, like a, a really brief speed clean with me video on my stories. And to my surprise, you guys loved it. Like I got, so many DMs and I actually got a bunch of requests to do an actual clean with me video, kind of showcasing my cleaning routine and also my favorite go-to products and tools and things like that that I use to clean my house and keep it clean. Now, this routine here, I do it about every two weeks. Um, I do it every other weekend and the main reason why is because in all honesty, I am a clean freak. I hate for my house to get dirty. I just, I can't do it. I cannot do dirt and feel like I cannot live in clutter and mess. And so we do it every other weekend just to make sure that our house pretty much stays somewhat clean for the most part. Now, during those two weeks, of course, it will start to look more lived in, if that makes sense, but it never really gets dirty. And during that time, it's just much easier just to, you know, pick things up, walk on the counter, you know, keep it, pretty much together. And so this routine is, I won't say it's a deep clean, but I do do pretty much everything else from wiping down counters, wiping down the fridge, cleaning out the fridge, wiping down the oven, um, organizing things, you know, cleaning the bathrooms, the toilets, dumping trash cans, vacuuming, mopping, all that good stuff. So it's pretty much as close to a deep clean as I will get on a two week schedule. So hope you guys enjoy this clean with me video. If you guys do give a thumbs up at the end of the video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Now let's go ahead and get to cleaning. All right guys, so to click off the cleaning routine, I typically start off in the kitchen just because I feel like that's where most of the attention needs to be is on is in the kitchen. Um, so I start there and here I am just putting away all of the clean dishes that um, have been cleaned and dried the night before. Um, still seem kind of putting away, you know, cups, bowls, spoons, all that, all that good stuff. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to also go make sure that I empty out the dishwasher um, and dry, of course, you know, dry any dishes that need to be dry before I go ahead and put them away. Um, me and Dion kind of alternate between the dishwasher and then hand washing dishes. Kind of just depends on how we're feeling that day. Um, but I will go ahead and unload the dishwasher and then actually put all of the dirty dishes that I'm doing right here. I'll put all the dirty dishes into the dishwasher. Again, it just depends on how we're feeling. Um, if we have a smaller load, we'll just do hand washing, but like we had a lot of dishes this day, so <laughs> the dishwasher is 10 times easier. Oh, and I actually did have to hand wash a few um, delicate items like my frother from my coffee machine um, and our air fryer basket. So some things will have to be hand washed, but for the most part, um, and even like my water bottle, but again, most of the stuff I'm just went in the dishwasher, just make it really simple and easy. Okay, so once I get done um, washing the dishes, you know, putting everything in the dishwasher, getting everything all cleared out and dried up, um, then I go ahead and like to clean off the grills for the stove. So um, the way our stove is, our, I'm sorry, our stove and oven set up is that we have actual um, grills. So I like to, um, during our cleaning routine, I like to go ahead and actually take the time to clean them off with, um, what's it called? I think it's called like soap wool cloths or I'll leave it down below, but pretty much they're like really durable, um, like wool, um, like wool balls that are filled with um, really heavy duty soap and they're great for cleaning off um, these type of items. So I'll go ahead and clean those off and of course go ahead and wipe down the stove. I go ahead and remove the caps and everything, just get everything nice and clean. And I'll use a more disinfectant cleaner um, whenever I'm cleaning off the stove top. And then whenever I'm wiping off the stainless steel portion right here, I'll actually go ahead and use an actual stainless steel cleaner. I don't know about y'all, but I hate whenever I see streaks on the stainless steel items. So I'll use a special um, spray to clean off just that stainless steel portion, then, you know, clean off everything else with a normal cleaner. So that's how I do it. And then of course, go ahead and pull back on the grill um, and then move on. Yeah. 
And then after that, I just normally go ahead and jump up to the microwave because it's right there. So this is the same thing. I'll clean out the inside of the microwave with an actual um, disinfectant cleaner. Uh, make sure that everything is, you know, that all the food and junk is all removed. And then I'll actually clean off, you know, the handles and that outer perimeter um, with that special um, stainless steel cleaner. And then um, after that, I kind of just go down and wipe off the counter. So um, I use that same disinfectant spray for the counters and I'm also um, using just a damp cloth to wipe down the cabinets. Make sure you wipe down your cabinets, people, because cabinets can easily accumulate, you know, um, oil stains, dirt stains, grime, all the kind of stuff. So cleaning off the cabinets is just as important. And then again, I did the back counter. So now again, here I am using 409 um, to clean off the, um, the our kitchen island. Um, I alternate between 409 spray, which is a more heavy duty um, disinfectant spray, and also the Mrs. Myers cleaning spray. I love the Mrs. Myers during the week. Whenever I'm doing like more uh, like daily touch-ups, they're kind of just cleaning, you know, I've known surfaces throughout the week. Um, I'll use the Mrs. Myers, but whenever I want a really heavy duty cleaning, you know, for the island and just the countertops, I use 409 because 409 gets everything. It's really strong though, so I don't use it too often. Like Dion actually hates it because it is, it, the chemicals are very, very strong. But again, for a deep cleaning routine, 409 is the route that I take. Of course, you can't forget to clean out the fridge. Now, earlier in the week, I did already go ahead and kind of go through um, any, you know, or sorry, go through and dump out any food that needs to be dumped out, you know, just old stuff that had been sitting in there. So I'm not really dumping any food away, but that is what I would do if I needed to. But here I am just kind of wiping down, um, you know, the trays, all the surfaces, even the little drawers in between. Just want to get everything nice and clean. And then also here I am again using that special stainless steel cleaner um, to wipe down the fridge because um, even though our fridge is fingerprint resistant, um, it is good to go um, in every few weeks and kind of just wipe it down with that cleaner just to make sure it looks good as new. Okay, once I get done with the fridge, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the bar stools. Um, I always wipe those down first before I go ahead and vacuum just because you'll be surprised how many like little crumbs and stuff accumulate in um, the bar stool. So I'll clean those off first um, and then go ahead and vacuum up the entire, pretty much the entire first floor. Um, you guys won't see me do the, the whole first floor, including our bedroom, but I will do the entire first floor, including the laundry room, including, you know, where we come in by the by the garage door. Um, I'll even do the little area over there where we have all those, little, all those junk and boxes and stuff in the front room. But I do the entire area because I hate whenever crumbs and dirt and dust start to accumulate. So I just do this every two weeks to keep our floors fairly clean. Okay, and then once I've cleaned pretty much the entire first floor, um, I like to jump to the second floor before I go ahead and mop the first floor just because it makes, I feel like whenever I mop, like I know that's the final step of the process. So I'll actually jump upstairs. So I'll vacuum and clean the stairs. I'll also vacuum the second floor as well. Now you guys don't see me vacuuming every single room here in this clip, but I do vacuum every single room. I do my office, I do the game room, I do women's room, the guest room, as well as the bathrooms. Um, again, just to make sure that nothing is accumulating um, over, over the weeks. So I'm only showing me cleaning this one bathroom for the purpose of this video, but honestly, my routine is the exact same for all of the other bathrooms. So of course I clean out the toilet. I use a little, the toilet, wands um, that are easy to dispense of in the toilet. I I love those. Um, so I'll use those to clean out the toilet. I, of course, I wipe down the countertops, wipe down the mirrors, and of course, clean out the shower and the bathtub. That's super important.
And again, I do this routine in every single bathroom on this exact day. <laughs> Y'all, it takes me a couple hours to do this routine, but it's so worth it. And I just make sure that it's, you know, all nice and clean. Um, for the tub, I like to use Comet green powder. I, I don't know, it just gets the tub really nice and clean. Of course, dump out the trash can, wipe down the cabinets, and then um, vacuum the floors as well as mop the floors. Mopping, of course, is important, especially whenever you live with a man, y'all. Y'all know how it is. <laughs> so don't forget to mop the bathroom floors. Now, for all of the other smaller bathrooms, I'll use just like a Swiffer wet jet because it's very light and compact and it's much, much easier to clean the floors in the bathrooms. However, whenever it comes to the main first floor on these vinyl um, plank floors, I love using this Bissell Powerfresh Steam Mop, okay? I will link it in the description box, but y'all, everybody needs a steam mop. It has completely changed my life and I don't know what I did without it before, but this mop here is amazing. So of course it's normal mop, but it actually um, plugs in and it creates steam. And the steam helps to get rid of everything. I mean, any built up, like let's say you spilled something on the floors in the kitchen, like some like a smoothie or some juice or some soda or whatever, it gets up everything. The, the steam just really helps to create a really fresh, squeaky clean finish that I love, especially like by the front doors, the back doors, any entrances. This is also good to use um, in those areas as well because again, you track in dirt and water stains and all kind of stuff. So this helps to get everything. So once it's all uh, mopped up and everything is dry, I'll just put back the bar stools, kind of touch up everything. Of course, light the can candles because I love to kind of get candles going after I have you know used all those chemicals kind of get rid of all you know all, all that smell um so set the vibe of course wipe down um any surfaces that i did not um including the trash can i do clean my trash can it sounds weird but it's also important and i am using that same um stainless steel spray i go ahead and just fluff up the pillows and get everything looking nice and new And here is the final results of our cleaning routine, you guys. So um, as you guys can see, everything is nice and spotless, squeaky clean, and this is personally how I love it. I feel like there's nothing better than a squeaky clean, fresh, cleaned home. Oh, this makes me feel so good. Like honestly, the amount of, of joy that this brings me is actually pretty scary. So um, this is what it's looking like. And then honestly, I'll just go ahead and end off the day. Um, with a load of clothes, which I didn't show in this video. Um, I didn't really show me doing our room in general, but I do go ahead and change our sheets in our room. Again, vacuum. Um, I do run, you know, a few loads of laundry. Again, clean our bathroom, which again is the same routine. And then once I go ahead and put some clothes in the washing machine, I'll just sit here, watch some TV, fold some clothes, and then go on about my day. So, hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning routine. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.